All right, FPS unlocker guide. Here is the application link is in the description. Do not set it to none. If you set this application to none, your ping will raise infinitely. It will not go down even if you reset. If you close the application, task manager, or what have you, if you set it to none, your ping in this game is going to spike infinitely. There is nothing you can do about it. I don't know why. There hasn't been a patch made for this yet. Um, people have been waiting. People have been asking. Unfortunately, the developer of this game does not care. Uh, so that's my information to you. Uh, 30 to 144 in this range, your ping does not spike infinitely. So you can go from 30 to 144. However, if you set it to 165, here's where you start running into issues. Now, I've already reset in this private server, so my ping isn't going to spike, but you're just going to have to trust me on this. If you set it to 165, your ping will probably go up to like 500, and then it's going to dip back down, and then it's going to go back up to 500, then 400, then 300, etc. Um, my advice, if you are going to use 165, you need to reset once you get into the private server. You have to. Otherwise, that is going to keep happening. Same with 240. If you cap to 240, again, you need to make sure that you're resetting once you enter a private server. Now, it works in game mode. Uh, in Slayers vs. Demons, it works in rank. You have no worries. Uh, it's just that I get a lot of questions. There, There's a lot of people that are confused on how to use it. Um, like I said, do not cap it to none. Do not cap it to... 360. These are these are the infinite ping spikers once getting in the PS. So again, none 360 and 240. These are the troublemakers. If you're going to use 240, reset once you get into a private server or a public server. After the initial reset, you are fine. You don't have to worry. Um, I can even show you here what 30 FPS looks like. It's it's terrible. This is like your laptop's console experience. Uh, and for some reason, lower frame rate cap equals higher ping. As you can see, it's like 74, goes to 80. Uh, I'll even cap it to lower, or sorry, higher. We'll go to 240. Now you see my ping is going to drop. So this could be not only a solution to uh, how bad your game feels, but it could also give you better ping. As, as you can see, that's like a 40 ping decrease, sorry. Um, uh, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. I had a lot of people asking about this. So, I mean, this is just going to be a quick little video. Um, you see top left, it's a constant 240. Uh, what normally would happen and I'll just, I'll even, it's right here. So this is what happens when you set your FPS capper to, uh, 360. You're going to see top right. All right. This is 30 FPS. And then my ping is fine, right? Even 35 ping, 32. And now I uncap my FPS. And now you're gonna see the ping top right. Let's look, look, look at that FPS, 600 FPS. Now watch my ping skyrocket. 160, 331, 555. It goes up forever. So again, do not cap your FPS to 360 or none if you're going to play game mode, please. I've, I've seen so many frustrated people wondering why the ping is going to heaven when they when they uncap their FPS. This is why. Okay. This is the guide video. You are welcome. Um, How long? Was that? This video was made in March. It's still not fixed. Uh, I don't think it will ever get fixed. But there you go. There's the video. Bye-bye.